Petra, the ancient city that rises out of the red rock cliffs of modern-day Jordan, was not just an architectural marvel, it was a testament to the ingenuity of the Nabataeans who built it over 2,000 years ago. Imagine, a bustling city in the heart of the desert, where water seems as elusive as a mirage. Yet the Nabataeans, with their keen understanding of hydraulics, turned this arid landscape into a flourishing metropolis. They carved not only their iconic facades but an intricate network of channels, cisterns, and aqueducts, creating a sustainable water supply system that could support a population of around 20,000 inhabitants. Picture the scene, water cascading down rock-cut channels, collected in massive tanks beneath the city, ready to quench the thirst of its people. This system also ensured that the city had a supply of water during the dry seasons, a feat of engineering that stands alongside the grandeur of their temples and monuments. It wasn't just about survival, it was about creating an oasis of life, trade, and culture in the harshest of environments. The Nabataeans thrived on controlling the water supply, which in turn controlled the spice routes, making Petra a hub of commerce and wealth. As we walk through the Sikh, the narrow gorge leading into the city, we are reminded of these channels that once carried life-giving water, whispering stories of a civilization that flourished against all odds. But how did they manage to keep such a system free from sediment buildup? How did they know the precise gradients needed to prevent overflow and waste? What modern cities can learn from their sustainable use of resources? These questions bring Petra's history into conversations about resilience and innovation in the face of climate challenges today. The city's downfall came not from a failure of their ingenuity but from the shifting sands of trade and empire. Yet, as we stand before the treasury, with its ornate facade glowing in the sunset, we can't help but wonder, what if the Nabataeans' mastery of nature had been recognized earlier in a world increasingly threatened by scarcity? Could this ancient wisdom rewrite our future? As we ponder these questions, Petra remains, a silent guardian of the past and a beacon for the future.